Should I walk, run really fast like they do in the old time movies? I could, I could yes, feed, yes. Are you gonna put it on that? I could feed it up. <laughs> we planted this in 2013. It's a Gravenstein apple, and it desperately needs pruning. Let's see what you can do in one minute. Okay. Go. <laughs> I think that may have been the 45 second for oh, all right. <laughs> but so can, can you tell us? I can tell you why I did what I did. Okay. Because I only had 60 seconds. That's why I did what I did. You know, <laughs> but I did okay. So just for the quick and dirty, yeah. uh, we hadn't, this got was getting what you call leggy. It was getting too right. long. The branches, right. the fruit can break the branches. Right. So what, essentially, what did you do here? What I did is I took out all the branches that were really low that maybe when you mow and drive your tractor, and I took all the branches going straight up and the ones that are going way out too far because this branch is way too long for its thickness. Okay. So what I did is I found a side branch here that, and I left the tip. You always lift the terminal bud. Oh. And, and I, I left the tip there. Uh -huh. And that will become where the new branch goes out, but it's not near as long. It was so long that it was gonna bend down like this when the fruit came on yeah. and bend out of shape and then it would stop producing as well. And for the top, what I did, it was about six feet taller. Yeah. And so what I did is I took, I found a branch that we could bend like this. So there's still one more thing needs to be done here. Okay. You're going to put a stake up here. Oh. Like you're going to put a stake here. Yeah. And you're going to take this branch uh -huh. and you're going to tie it with a piece of bamboo like this. And this is the new top. Oh. So it has a top. Uh -huh. And because the top still has a terminal bud that I didn't cut back. Yeah. It gives a message to all the other bud, the other branches, to uh, grow out and produce fruit. If I would have cut that off, yeah. Whenever you cut a terminal bud off a branch, it puts out a bunch of side branches below that, and we didn't want more branches. Uh -huh. So I made sure I didn't just cut it off like here. I cut it off to a branch that we could tie up with a terminal bud, and that's going to be your new top. And you've got to remember to put a little bamboo stake right up there. And now your tree's about um, five foot shorter and it has the branches going where they want. So is that something that we would never trim off later then? That will always stay there. No, what's gonna happen is this is gonna grow way up. Yeah. And eventually it's gonna get way taller than you want and you're gonna do the same thing. So imagine now, instead of standing on the ground, I've climbed up a ladder and this, it's like 10 years from now. Yeah. And I'm like about say five, six feet off the ground yeah. and I'm up at the top of the tree and it's really tall like that. I'm gonna look for a a new branch like this one right here, uh, okay. and I'm gonna cut everything off above there. Mm -hmm. And this thing, new one, is gonna become the top. But I'm not gonna tip it back. Okay. I'm gonna let it stay, and it'll become the new top. And that's what you always keep doing on your trees. You make them shorter, but you always keep a top by finding a a less vigorous branch that's going upwards. And, and that's, you always bamboo it up. Well, usually, like in the winter and stuff. We could, probably could have found a branch that was going up enough. We wouldn't have needed even to stake it. Okay, hand, it's kind of thumb right, kind of a rule of thumb <laughs> when you're thinning your your fruit and June's a good time to do it. What you want to do is put your hand out and wherever your thumb is and your your little finger, that's about how far the fruit should be apart. So you can do that now. When just a second, yeah, there you go. So, <laughs> so should I take these two off? Well, you can leave one about here and one about here is fine. Okay. It's close enough. Usually they're in a cluster of like five. You pick the Oops. just one of them to keep out of the cluster. So you go through your orchard, and, and about this time of year, when mm -hmm. when the the fruit is roughly the size of a Super Bowl, yeah, um, and and you start pulling that off. Mm -hmm. And you can and you, one, you one, can pull it, or you can use little pruners and prune it off. You you've taken away a lot of money. You you've cut away my tree. Yeah. You cut all the fruit off. <laughs> yeah. I don't 
know if you're going to be invited back. I know. You... <laughs> Sorry about that. But here, it's so pretty much you got. Oh, I got one. Got one there. Here. Got one here. There you go. Okay, and yeah, some parts. Of and they figure about 35 leaves can support it. one fruit in in general. Give you an idea. Oh. But if you don't want to count leaves, you could use the rule of thumb. Yeah. I really enjoyed editing this video and uh, kind of uh, uh, just kind of was a reminder of what a wonderful time we had with um, with Sam and James uh, from Rain Tree Nursery that came out uh, and helped us with this orchard or with our orchard. I think this video is really important because it it uh, it really distills the I think it really simplifies for the, you know for the common person a uh, kind of uh, some basic things to help take care of our fruit trees that I have never really uh, known how to do. Uh, to be honest with you, I've always been somewhat uh, am intimidated about cutting that I was afraid I was going to do something wrong um, and I have never really known why we weren't getting a lot of fruit and just by adopting uh, this rule of thumb and thinning the fruit out uh, you know in June or early summer and and the the simple tricks or instructions for pruning um, I feel confident to be able to go out and do this so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and again a, a, another a very heartful thank you to uh, um, to the folks at Rain Tree for coming out and uh, putting this on and sharing this this vast knowledge uh, with the rest of us. Uh, also, we have a, a coupon code. Uh, Rain Tree Nursery uh, ships all over the country, so uh, we would like to support them. Uh, and you want to uh, get on the list now, uh, pre-order, so you have uh, we'll guarantee your shipments for your fruit next year. Um, and the coupon code is Wrangler Star. So just go to Wrangler Star and uh, tell them we said hello. And uh, we really appreciate uh, appreciate uh, everyone's support. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the thumbs up. And we'll see you guys on the next video.